All right, so I'm like really, really busy as of right now when it comes towards content. The video that I'm currently working on is, and I kid you not, over an hour long, and I'm kind of scared at the moment. I'm not going to lie. So I feel like since I would like to get some sort of content out with this video that someone linked in the Discord chat, I'd figure that I might as well post something to keep you guys somewhat more entertained or whatnot. Oh, and by the way, I haven't used this avatar in a long while, so... Hello, I'm a turtle again. Can I join the turtle club now, or am I not turtly enough for it? I am so sorry for that reference. This is MTR Shots, a side series of the A363 MTR commentate series, but with an added twist. The twist is that I can only make 1-3 to three interjections in the video, hence the name of the series. So, to sum up the first couple of degrees, some guy by the name of Darkseith did the video exposing just a robot as to how he's being a sell out or whatnot, and then Jar did a commentary on that, and then Darkseith and two other people covered him. They're semi-important for the context, but that's not what we're covering in this video. Then Doobly comes in and does a commentary on Darkseid's response to Jar. And then our target, Paradox Philosopher, comes in and makes a two-shot on that. And I'll be covering him. As a two-shot commentary. Oh, and as an editor's note, he does speed up some of the clips as well as cut some parts out. However, I'm going to be slowing it down a bit just in case, as well as add in some more context of the actual videos at hand, because surprise, surprise, I've actually have issues with Doobly's video or at least the ones that you've actually mentioned. And, um, oof. Um, I guess consider this as a mini commentary bitch fight then? Bitch fight! No, 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 we're, we're, we're not doing that song. Just a robot. Quite possibly one of the worst YouTubers I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I get it. Instead of calling me a YouTuber, you call me a Jewtuber. Clever! Except for you need to explain how I'm a Jewtuber. No, you don't. The joke clearly just whooshed over your tiny little nubless robot Wee Wee. The main reason you got called a YouTube goy is because you pick basic run-of-the-mill topic and give the opinion that'll appeal to the lowest common denominator. This can be applied to both your political and non-political videos, you beast. Can you just wait one second so Jar can define what a YouTuber is? Thanks. Also, Josh's idea of what a YouTuber is has no relevance to Jar's idea. Not to mention the fact that this guy's audio quality is god-awful. Seriously, why couldn't Darkseid explain this himself? Did he really need this pointless cameo? That insult is usually reserved for people like the fine bros when they try to trademark the word react, or other YouTubers who try to scam people. I'm sure Dark Sight's argument is going to be, it's just a joke, you're taking it too seriously. Well, the joke doesn't make any sense and it's not funny, so it fails either way. I like how you dedicated a whole 40 seconds to one single word I used, then claim I don't give a reason as to why I called you that, but yet the entire video is explaining why I called you that? Except for the fact that the word YouTuber is used for YouTubers who are greedy. Mostly because it's a common stereotype that Jewish people are, well, greedy. Yet, you never made an argument as to why Jar's greedy, unless he's greedy for views, which is something that you never said or made clear. So, this point is crap either way. Hey, uh, man, Jewish people are greedy or what? Because I think I found the biggest reason why you got that made dislikes in that commentary of yours. Also, by that logic, Christians are the holiest people by default. Uh, no. Not all Jews are greedy as much as not all Christians are holy and sinless. As I mentioned, you misunderstood what the definition of Jewtuber is. Right? You got the greedy part of Jewtubers, right? However, by definition, according to the Urban Dictionary right here, Jewtuber. A YouTuber that is either a salad or makes shitty clickbait videos to make money off of. Uh, next time, you might need to fact check before you might make an offensive comment about Jewish people, otherwise, you might come up as a terrible person. Oh boy, okay, let, let's actually break each and every single one of these comments down from both sides. So, first of all, to Paradox, um, no? I mean, I get that this is a joke, but I don't think that the comment about Jewish people got him to receive a lot of dislikes. It's really more of people who didn't really like the video. I mean, see comments like Professor Cartoons, Mr. Inferno, The Best Bro Gamer Show. I have no clue as to why Doodly liked that comment unless if it's for some other reason that they know each other and I'm missing something here. And left. What a freaking leftist, am I right? It also doesn't help with your overall joke sense. Um... 
Your actual point is wrong about the Jewish remark. He never even said that Jewish people are actually greedy. He said that the term Jew-tuber came from the fact that it involves a common stereotype about how Jewish people are greedy. Let me repeat that to you again since I have a feeling that you won't get us towards what I said, as indicated that Doobly even responded to your comment on his video about a week ago and yet you somehow still made this video. Common stereotype. As in, he's not saying that it's true, he's only saying that it's a common stereotype in relation to the definition of a Jew-tuber. Now, do I really like the previous two points that Doobly made? Um, no, not, not really. His first point was wrong, as not only do I feel like his last sentence of the person with the Josh from Drake and Josh avatar being a pointless cameo as this person appears about, like, four times in the video, maybe? But one can argue that with Jar making common denominator topics slash dead topics it's him being greedy slash being a sellout since those topics are a popular thing to discuss, so therefore, he's being greedy. Hence the overall joke that Dark Scythe made. In fact, you also say to both that person with the Josh avatar as well as Dark Scythe to hold their horses, as Jar's definition is pretty much identical towards how to be a sellout. And facts and facts! I also don't really like your point, Paradox, as this is kind of the same thing. I mean, if what I'm assuming is correct, and if it is correct, then Darth Side should probably be more clearer in the original video next time. He is talking about how doing topics that are either dead or are so common is considered to be greedy as those generate a lot of views thus creating more ad revenue of jar had monetization on. Like, Jesus, you guys, it really feels like as if all of you are actually going around in full circle with this. Oh yeah, and then the second point that Doobly made, I also didn't like as, by technicality, Start Sight did talk about how he's being a sellout, as previously mentioned by me, so... I mean, there's that. So, in your original video, you should have waited more depth about America funding for genocide in Yemen, because Jar is supposed to be more for you. You made a plain you should prove it in your original video. After this, he makes some points that I just don't care to cover. And honest to God, my voice is tired right now, so I don't really have any final thoughts. I hope people actually enjoyed this crappy video, and goodbye. Wait, that's it? No final thoughts? You're just gonna end the video like this? Aww, I was expecting that you would give some humble advice to this guy. But instead, you just simply dropped the ball and basically quit. Now you would expect me to be ranting about this issue, but I won't be like 27me on Keyblade Master in my quote unquote watch out on him. Instead, I'll just simply ask the simple question. Do you not care of finishing the video at all? You know, you could've just done one of these two things. Number one would be take a break from doing this commentary, take some risks, and then come back to making this video and then give some final thoughts at the end. Or two, you could've just simply said that you're tired and what you said is enough to prove your case in this video, but instead you just simply become a lazy slob at the end. You know, this is the biggest stigma of most of your commentaries as of late, including your first one on me. The laziness of it all that you've shown in this commentary. And maybe you could've just, you know, take it easy and don't push yourself in making it. Otherwise it looks like it's something that you've rushed and you don't give a damn about it and just want to be done with it. Come on man, you have to step up your game when if you want to be with the big boys in the CC. Especially with 2019 fast approaching. And you don't want to repeat the same mistakes that you've done as late this 2018, right? Right? That's a uh, really, really unnecessary point to make, huh? Like, are you really getting on to him for not using the final thoughts when that really isn't a requirement at all? Okay, no, that's a bad. For starters, you're essentially trying to make a rule on how to do commentaries when there's really no requirement on how to make them. Another thing too is that there are some commentators who think that final thoughts are kinda stupid since it's just you repeating your points. Also, I was expecting that you would give some helpful advice to this guy. Um, never mind that he could have done that throughout the entire video too. I don't know, like overall, this was a really dumb point to make. In fact, possibly even dumber than the previous point that you made. Also, the comment about the big boys, uh, you do realize that some of the quote-unquote higher-ups doesn't add in any final thoughts, right? I mean, Mills Kohai doesn't do him for most of his commentaries, and Dal Schmick didn't do it in his recent commentary, so are they in the wrong for doing it too? Also, guess who's also not going to be doing some final thoughts? I'll give you a hint when it comes to this video. I'm <laughs> sorry.